I think it's hard to find a player whose accolades undersell how good they actually were more than Reggie Miller. Starting in 1990 through Indiana's finals appearance in 2000, Miller and the Pacers made the playoffs every year but one. Over that stretch, they were one of four teams to play in five or more conference finals. Also during that stretch, Miller missed 13 regular season games, combined. The unorthodox form, strange follow through, lanky frame, and average athleticism doesn't blow you away at first glance. But here is where Reggie shined. First, he's one of the best agitators in NBA history. Even the most mentally strong and greatest players ever try to take his head off at least once. Jordan and Reggie Miller having a go at it. He also always showed up in the biggest moments. His points per game in the regular season over his career was 18.2. In 144 playoff games, he averaged 20.6. And in 25 elimination games, he averaged 22.5. His signature playoff moments are up there with any all-time great. He absolutely tormented the Knicks at Madison Square Garden. In 1994, he scored 25 fourth quarter points in game five. In the next year, he scored eight points in nine seconds to steal game one of the Eastern Sevens. A few years later in 1998, he drilled a game winner against MJ and the Bulls in game four of the Eastern Conference Finals. And in 2002, he banked in a three to send a do or die game five into overtime. And before Steph and Ray arrived, Miller held the belt as the greatest three point shooter of all time. Now, let's go back to the accolades. You would think that a player that was the number one option on a team that made the playoffs pretty much every year for 11 years would have more than five all-star appearances. One factor for those lack of all-star appearances has to be the small market. There was no league pass in the 90s, and much of the country outside of Indiana didn't get to experience Miller's greatness on a night-to-night -night basis. There's also years that he flat out just got snubbed for the all-star game. Take 1994, for example. Miller became the third player ever to put up a 50-40-90 season. He also averaged 20 points per game and led the Pacers to the five seed in the East. Yet, he didn't make the All-Star game, and guys like Kenny Anderson, BJ Armstrong, John Starks, Mookie Blaylock, and Mark Price all made it. Lastly, and most importantly, the biggest blemish on Miller's resume is that he never got an elusive championship ring. He lost to the eventual champion twice in 1998 and 2000, and maybe his best chance at a ring was in 2005. But you might have heard of a minor disagreement that happened in the stands that slightly impacted the Pacers season. So I think that's pretty much everything you need to know about Reggie Miller. 18 years played, one of the greatest showmen, shooters, and Iron Men in NBA history. I think we sleep on just how great he was, but I'll let you be the judge. Let me know what you think.